Hello and welcome. In this discussion, we will be seeing about one of the most important and a basic phenomena that happens behind every skeletal muscle contraction. The topic of today's discussion is excitation contraction coupling and my name is Gayatri. To understand this better, we have the actin proteins. Now these actin filaments will have the navy blue areas that you are seeing which are the troponin C areas. They are covered, usually these are the active sites of the actin which are covered by the troponin C and now they are exposed. Also the black line helically that you are seeing is the tropo myosin protein. So, the tropomyosin protein wraps around the actin filament and we have the myosin head or the myosin filament which attaches to the active sites of actin. Now, to proceed initially for the actin or myosin to attach to actin, we require ADP and inorganic phosphates. So, these are the active sites of actin and that is the myosin head and we have ADP and PI which is the adenosine diphosphate plus inorganic phosphate together which will cause the binding of, an, of myosin over actin. How does this happen? Now the ADP and phosphates are present with the myosin head or inside the myosin head and for myosin to attach to actin the ADP will release the phosphates. Phosphates are released and that is when the myosin head is attached to the actin. Now this is called a power stroke wherein the myosin is strongly attached to the active sites of actin with the help of ADP. Now once this attachment happens for the next detachment myosin requires energy. This is brought by the ATP. The ATP will attach to the myosin strongly attaching to myosin causing a detachment of the myosin head over the actin. So when the ATP attaches to myosin, the detachment happens and then the ATP is again hydrolyzed or with the process of hydrolysis, it is broken down to ADP and PI for the next contraction.